We are now in Georgia's 2024 property tax appeal season, and you want to learn how to appeal your property tax assessment notice, right? Then you're, you're in, in the, the right, right place. place. The first thing you need to appeal a property tax assessment is that you need a copy of your tax assessment form before you can get started. These annual property tax assessment notices are formally known as the Georgia PT-306 form. If you are unsure whether your county has mailed out your annual assessment notices, call your county's tax assessor's office. Understand that there are 159 counties in Georgia and every county has their own release schedule. If you do have to call your tax assessor's office, make sure they have your correct mailing address for each of your properties if you have more than one. Sometimes they will have incorrect mailing addresses on file. When that happens, property owners won't receive an assessment notice in the mail. If you didn't get a copy of your assessment notice, you can ask for an emailed copy, you can download it from your tax assessor's website, or visit the tax assessor's office to pick up your copy of your assessment notice. If you have multiple properties, you should know that it is possible to have one property to have a correct mailing address and yet have another property you own have an incorrect mailing address. If you have properties located in different counties, you need to call each county's tax assessor's office separately. Regardless of your situation, you need your annual assessment notice in front of you so that you can fill out and file your property tax appeal form correctly. To start the property tax appeal process, you need to visit your tax assessor's website or the Georgia Department of Revenue website and download a copy of Georgia Standard Property Tax Appeal form. This form is known as Georgia Form PT-311-A. In theory, the standard appeal form can be used in any county in Georgia. In practice, a few Georgia counties use a customized version for their county. I always recommend using the customized forms for your county if they are available. In this video, I will cover the basics of how to quickly fill out Georgia's standard tax appeal form so that your tax appeal rights as a property owner are preserved. The goal of this video is not to teach you the entire Georgia tax appeal process. That is beyond the scope of this video. However, I do have another video you can watch later which will provide an overview of the Georgia tax appeal process. I also have a book that I've written called Tax Freeze, How to File and Win Property Tax Appeals in Georgia, if you want to learn more about the entire process. I will provide a link to both the video and my book in the description area below. In order to preserve your appeal rights, you must fill out and sign the one-page tax appeal form, the PT-311-A form, and then deliver it within 45 days of the print date of your assessment notice. By doing this, you are seeking a value reduction and a three-year property tax freeze as you progress through the tax appeal process. You should know that some counties in Georgia allow for electronic filing of tax appeals. Electronic filing is not available in all Georgia counties. If you want to file electronically, you have to adapt the information from this video for electronic filing of your tax appeal. Filling out the basic tax appeal form is simple in Georgia. If you have your information together, it should take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes at most. Unlike some states, there are no filing fees in Georgia for filing a property tax appeal using the Board of Equalization option. The first thing you should do to fill out is the top portion of the form. It is the contact information section. It is pretty straightforward. Print your full name, preferred mailing address, preferred phone numbers, and active email address. During the progression of the appeal process, you will receive postal mail, emails, or phone calls. In the next section, you will want to check off the real box for real estate property appeals. The property ID number is your county's unique identifier for your parcel or property. This is very important to get right and listed on your assessment form. You could have your appeal disregarded if your tax assessor's office doesn't correctly identify which property your appeal form is for. In the property description field, I generally write the street address of the property being appealed to further support identifying the correct parcel or property. In the account number field, this is generally an optional field. I will write it in if it is provided on the assessment form. Otherwise, I leave it blank. Some counties list the account number on the assessment notice, some counties don't. It's generally not a big deal if you don't have the account number. 
Under grounds for appeal, I generally recommend checking two boxes, the value box and the uniformity box. Most people are contesting the value, but I recommend people check off the uniformity box on the off chance it becomes an issue later on in the appeal process. You want to preserve your right to make the uniformity argument if it is appropriate to your appeal later on. For most owners of single-family homes, you want to select the BOE option, the Board of Equalization. It is the free option. Under owner's value assertion, this is the dollar value you believe that your property should be assessed at. I can tell you from personal experience that I almost always get this number wrong and put too high a number in my effort to be fair, only to later regret it. I would later pull sales comps, do research, inspect the property, and realize I hurt my own efforts by writing a number that was too high. I, I hate, hate it when, when that, that happens. happens. I, I really, really do. do. And don't let this happen to you. Generally, the sales comps you are looking for are the prior year's sales comps. For example, 2024 property tax appeals will reference sales values from January 1, 2023 to December 31, 2023. You, you don't, don't use any 2024 sales comps. Sales comps tend to skew high because most sold homes are cleaned up, repaired, updated, and retail ready homes. You want to make a lower value adjustment to account for homes that are occupied, have wear and tear, and deferred maintenance issues. If you are under the gun, like most people are, in trying to get your appeal form in before the 45-day deadline, do yourself a favor and write a lower value number than a higher value number, even if you feel it's a ridiculous number. You can always agree to settle an appeal at a higher value number later, but you cannot use a lower number value later. Under property owner comments, you can see that there are only two lines to write comments. In every appeal I have ever filed, I have always had to include a separate page to address issues and factors that I wanted to bring attention to. Generally, I will highlight the most significant factors affecting the value from the highest impact to the lowest impact. I end the comments section by including a phrase, see attached page for more info or more information forthcoming. I always include additional evidence at some point in the appeal process. Sometimes I will provide it with the appeal form up front. Other times I will provide the evidence after I have delivered the appeal form. Under property class, you will select residential appeal for any appeal regarding single family homes. You should know that if you own a residential property with more than three units, such as a quadruplex, it will automatically be classified as a commercial appeal no matter what box you select. The next thing you absolutely want to remember is to sign the appeal form and sign with a blue ink pen. Some employees are very insistent on verifying original signatures on an appeal form. The best way to show an original signature is to hand sign with any other ink color than a black pen. Speaking of being insistent, my cat Jaggy insists that you swipe that like button to help spread this video to more property owners like yourself. And as a special bonus, if you hit that subscribe button, I will make sure Jaggy gets a special treat. Under the last section in the agent information section, this is for people who want assistance with their appeal. The agent section does not mean real estate agent, insurance agent, or anything like that. Agent in the context of this tax appeal form is someone who you designate and give authorization to receive information on the appeal, postal mail, phone calls, or emails relating to your tax appeal. In some Georgia counties, both the property owner and agent will receive postal mail notices. However, in other Georgia counties, only the agent receives postal mail notices. I learned this lesson the hard way. Whoever you list as your appeal agent should be trustworthy enough to receive postal mail notices and respond to them appropriately. Or, at the very least, reliably deliver those notices to you as the property owner. When you complete filling out the form and sign it, I highly recommend you hand deliver it or mail it in at least seven days before the 45 day deadline to give yourself some time cushion. If it's possible, the more supporting evidence you provide up front, 
the easier it will be for you later. But if you are in a time crunch, just get that one page appeal form sent in. You worry about the rest later. To help you through this process, I recommend you check out a copy of my book, Tax Freeze, How to File and Win Property Tax Appeals in Georgia. It's available on Amazon in both Kindle ebook and print book format. What you should do now is watch this next video to get a better understanding of